Okay, so let's take a look at these warm-up problems. Okay. So in the first one, we have 3.16 times 10 to the third. Now, if I think about 10 to the third as 10 times 10 times 10, well, that's 1,000. So I'm taking 3.16 and I'm multiplying it by a thousand. Well, if I do that, I get 3,160. Now, another way to think about that is I am moving my decimal place three spots to the right. So if I have this, 3, 1, 6, and my initial, I'm going to use different color, my initial um, decimal point was here. I'll just put it there. I have to move three spots over. So one, two. Notice that there's no spot there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it there, but I'm going to put a zero. Okay. So I get the same thing. Let's look at the next one. 2.52 times 10 to the negative fifth. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this same idea, this kind of same shortcut of what does this exponent mean, okay? So this exponent here said that I was going to move my decimal place three spots to the right. That way I can make a larger number, okay? So here I had 2.52. So in this case, I've got to move my decimal place five spots, but this time I've got to move it to the left so that I get a smaller number. So I'm gonna try to do that here. So there's one, two, three, four, and five, okay? So now what I have is I've got this number, zero, 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 and I'm going to put my decimal place here. So let me just rewrite it. I'm going to have 0 0.00002522. All right. So now in this problem, I'm going to take my decimal place here. And I need to move it one two, three spaces in that direction so that I get my factor to be a number that's greater than or equal to one and less than 10. All right. So I have 7.2 times 10 to the, let's say how many decimal places did I move it? One, two, three. And I'm going to have a negative number a negative exponent because if you look at my original number, I have a number that's less than one whole and my exponent has to be negative. Today's lesson is 1.7 computing with scientific notation. And we're going to start out with multiplying and dividing with scientific notation. Now, when we do this, we need to kind of remember our product of powers and our quotient of powers. So the first problem we're going to do is example number one. It's on page 60. So if you want to have your book out and follow along, please go ahead and do that. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite this problem. 7.2 times 10 to the third times 1.6 times 10 to the fourth. Okay. Now I'm gonna rewrite the problem this way. I'm gonna take the, I guess I'll do some colors here. I'm gonna take this part and that part, 
of both of my numbers, and I'm going to group those together and multiply them. So I'm going to have 7.2 times 1.6. Okay. And then I'm going to take my 10 to the third and multiply it by my 10 to the fourth. 10 to the third times 10 to the fourth. Okay. So now I'm just going to solve both of those pieces. So 7.2 times 1.6 turns out to be 11.52. Okay. And then, I care so much, just leave it in parentheses. Then I'm going to go to 10 to the third times 10 to the fourth. Well, if you remember from the product of powers, 10 to the third times 10 to the fourth is 10 to the third plus fourth power. Okay. So now I can even make this a little bit clearer. I have 11.52 times 10 to the seventh. But there's something going on with my factor, okay? If you remember, the factor in a scientific notation has to be a number greater than or equal to one whole or less than 10. So now since I've got this number, 11.52, which is greater than 10, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move my decimal place over one, okay? So now I'm gonna have 1.152, and I'm still gonna multiply that by some power of 10. Now notice what I did. If I was at 11.52, now I'm at 1.152. Since I moved my decimal place over one to the left, I am going to increase my exponent by one. So I get 1.152 times 10 to the eighth. Now I want you to practice a couple of them on your own. Make sure you're checking with your uh, peers, to see if you agree with uh, each other's solutions. Um, so I'll give you some time to work on those two problems. All right, so you've had some time to uh, work on these problems. Let's see if you and I have come up with the same solution. So I'm going to use that same kind of strategy that I used in the previous problem where it kind of grouped things. So I'm going to have 8.4 times 2.5. And then I'm going to have 10 to the second power times 10 to the sixth power. So 8.4 times 2.5, I believe that's 21. So I'll have 21 times 10 to the 8th power. But because my number is greater than 10, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the decimal place over. So now I have 2.1. So my factor is between 1 and 10. And then it'll be times 10 to the ninth power. So when I move my decimal place over here from from behind the one's place to behind the one to in between the two and the one, I have to increase my exponent by one whole. So let's try uh, B now. Let's just make sure that we have the same answers. So same thing, just group them together. So I have 2.63 times 1.2 times 10 to the fourth times 10 to the negative third. OK. 
Okay. So 2.63 times 1.2 turns out to be 3.156. Ten to the fourth times ten to the third is going to be, remember, ten to the fourth minus three is going to be ten to the first power. And so because my factor is a number greater than or equal to one whole and less than ten, I can leave my answer the way it is. Now let's take a look at example two on page 60. In this problem, it says, in 2010, the world population was about 6,860,000,000. The population of the United States was about 3 times 10 to the 8th power. About how many times larger was the world population than the population of the United States? Okay, so if you notice, I've got one number in the problem that's written in standard form, right? So... in standard form. And then I've got another number here that's written in scientific notation. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to make sure that both numbers are in the same form. And since we're talking about uh, computing with scientific notation, I'm going to take my po world population and convert that into scientific notation. Okay. So, but I'm going to make it a little bit easier on myself. Part of it says about how many times. So, I'm, I'm really doing an estimation. So, the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to say that six billion eight hundred and sixty million is about seven billion oopsie I'm missing I'm missing some numbers there and I I'll just erase it this way all right let's try that again zero 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 I'm going to run off the page there a little bit. 8606. Six. Is that right? I think I got it now. Okay. So when I have uh, estimated or kind of rounded up the world population, now it's really easy for me to write this in scientific notation. So 7 billion people is the same as 7 times 10 to the, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, to the ninth power, okay? And since I already have my U.S. population in scientific notation, now it's just going to be, uh, I'll just have to find out what the ratio is, so I'm going to do some division. All right, so I'm going to take the world population, 7 times 10 to the ninth power, and I'm going to divide that, let's do some different colors here, divide that by the population of the United States, 3 times 10 to the eighth power. Okay. Now, the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to organize it this way. I'm going to think about this part first, 7 divided by 3. So I'm going to say that this is the same thing as 7 divided by 3. And now I'm going to focus on that part. Times 10 to the 9th over 10 to the 8th. Okay. So the next parts are fairly simple. I am going to do 7 divided by 3. Okay. 7 divided by 3 is going to be... 2.3 and then I've got this is going to be times 10 to the 9 minus 8 power remember with the quotient of powers if my bases are the same I have to subtract the exponents so my answer is going to be 2.3 times 10 to the first power 
So what I can say is 2.3 uh, times 10 to the first power, that's the same thing as 23. So the population of the world in 2010 was about 23 times, whoops, you can't see it, 23 times larger than the population of the United States. Now I want you to try number C, or letter C, problem C, on page 61. So there are some gigantic lakes around um, the state of Michigan, where I'm from. Um, and the largest of the Great Lakes is Lake Superior. The smaller, the smallest lake is Lake Ontario. Now, you can see we've got the area in square kilometers of both of those lakes. The problem is, in order for us to compare them, we need to make sure that they're written in the same form. Well, I've already gotten the area of Lake Superior written in scientific notation, so I just need to convert the area of Lake Ontario into scientific notation. So let me just do that here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just write it as one point. So I got to, let me just make sure I got focus on there we go uh 1.816 1.816 times 10 to the well let's see where i've how many decimal place i've moved it one two three four that was 10 to the fourth okay so now it's going to be really easy for me to compare these two so i'm going to have eight times 10 to the fourth divided by 1.816 times 10 to the fourth. Now what I can do is I can group these guys together. So 8 over 1.816 times 10 to the fourth over 10 to the fourth. Eight divided by 1.816. And I think we're looking for about, well, eight point, or sorry, 1.816 is about two. So what I can say is that eight divided by two is equal to four. And I'm going to say times 10 to the four minus four power. Well, that's the same as four times 10 to the zero power. 10 to the 0 power is just 1. So now I have 4 as my answer. So let's move on to adding and subtracting with scientific notation. Um, so in the previous examples with multiplication and division, we were using the product of powers, we are using the quotient of powers, this time, what we need to do is we need to really pay attention to lining up the place values, okay? So let me show you what that's gonna look like. So I'm gonna start off here with 6.89 times 10 to the fourth. And I'm adding to that 9.24 times 10 to the fifth. All right, we got a problem here. And the problem is here and here. My place values are not in the same spot. This is 10 to the fourth, and that's 10 to the fifth. What I wanna do is I wanna make sure that both of these numbers are to the same place value, okay? And so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus on this one. All right, I'm going to leave this as 10 to the fourth. So I'm going to say it's 6.89 times 10 to the fourth. Leave that one. But this time, what I'm going to do is I am going to move, I'll use a different color. I'm going to move my decimal place over one 
to the right. So now I have 92.5, so I'm gonna write that in there, plus 92.5, and instead of 10 to the fifth, now it's gonna be 10 to the fourth. Because I've made my number, my factor larger by a power of 10, I need to reduce my power of 10 by one. All right, so now, all I need to do is add these up. So to do that, I'm going to group these guys together. So I'm going to have 6.89 plus 92.5. I'm going to just column add those. And so I should get 9, 30, yeah, 13. Wait. Oh, I don't know where I got five from. It's 2.9.24. Let me fix that. And then this is 9.24. All right, so now I've got nine and nine. So I've got 99.29 and I have 10 to the fourth. I'm gonna leave my 10 to the fourth the way it is. But because my factor is larger than 10, I'm gonna have to move my decimal place over one spot. So now, I'm going to have 9.929, and since I made my factor smaller by a factor of 2, I'm going to increase my exponent by 1, so times 10 to the 5th power, okay? Let's try example 4 also on page 61. This time, we're subtracting. So I'm going to rewrite it as 7.83 times 10 to the negative third. But also notice, I have got this number that's in standard form. So I have to rewrite it as 1.161 times 10 to the, well, let's see what it is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it should be 1.161 times 10 to the seventh power. All right. Now, <clears throat> I've got, oh, you know what? It's to the eighth power, not to the third power. Oh, what do you know? And it's a positive 8? What the heck did I do when I wrote these problems out? Lordy, lordy, lordy. My eyesight's going bad. Even with my new glasses. Um, okay. Now, I think we should move this one to 10 to the 7th. So, the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to take this decimal place and I'm going to move it there. So I'm going to have 78.3 times 10 to the 7th. And now I can subtract 1.161 times 10 to the 7th. So now all I need to do is start lining things up um, and then we'll see what we get in terms of do I need to move decimal places around um, to make sure my factor is between 1 and 10. Okay, so I'm going to do 78.3 minus 1.161. All right. And so when I do that, I'm going to get 77.139. 
and that's going to be times 10 to the seventh power because I'm just going to leave my oh my gosh my focus is off my my uh, powers of 10 is going to stay the same I'm not subtracting those okay but I've got another problem here I've got to make sure that I move that decimal place over so I'm going to have 7.7139 times 10 to the, well, because I moved my decimal place over to the left, I need to increase my exponent by 1, and I get 7.7139 times 10 to the 8th. Let's try one more example, and then I'll let you guys have some work time. Uh, so here we have uh, evaluating 593,000 plus 7.89 times 10 to the 6. Now, notice that uh, both numbers are not in the same form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert 593,000 to scientific notation. So 5.93, so I put the decimal place there, and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 10 to the fifth. All right. So, I'm just going to rewrite this as 5.93 times 10 to the fifth. I'll put in parentheses, why not? Plus 7.89 times 10 to the sixth. All right. Now, my place values are not the same. I've got 10 to the 5th and 10 to the 6th. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this into 10 to the 6th. So in order for me to do that, I've got to move my decimal place over here. Because when I move it to the uh, left, I'm going to increase my exponent by 1. So now I'm going to have 0 0.5 Nine three times ten to the six plus seven point eight nine times ten to the six. So now they're the place values are, are going to be the same, so I don't have to kind of mess with those. Um, so all I need to do now is I need to group those two together. So I'm gonna have zero point five nine three plus 7.89, and that's all going to be times 10 to the 6th power, okay? So, when I add those two together, I get 8.483 times 10 to the 6th. And because I have a factor that is between 1 and 10, I can leave this solution alone. I want you to take some time to try problem 6, D through F on page 62. All right, you've had some time to work on these, so... Let's go ahead and um, see if your solutions are the same as mine. Um, so in this problem, 8.41 times 10 to the third um, plus 9.71 times 10 to the fourth, I notice that my exponents and my place values are not the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this. Uh, I'm going to move my decimal over one to the left, making it 0 0.841 times 10 to the fourth, <coughs> excuse me, plus 9.71 times 10 to the fourth, okay? So when I... Trying to get my screen right. When I add those two up, I'm going to get, whoopsie, I can't see it again. I'm going to get 
10.551 times 10 to the fourth. Now, the problem is my decimal is in the wrong spot because my factor now is more than 10. So I need to move it over one to the left. So I'm gonna have 1.0551 times 10 to the, since I moved it one decimal place to the left, I need to increase my exponent by one. And I get 10 to the fifth power. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Um, I've got an interesting thing going on here. I've got 10 to the ninth and 10 to the seventh. Um, I think what I might do is make them both 10 to the eighth power. So if I'm going to do that, I need to decrease this by one and I'm going to decrease it by one uh, power by I guess write the correct numbers I'm going to move my decimal place one to the right so now I'm going to have 12.63 times 10 to the eighth and now I'm going to make 10 to the seventh 10 to the eighth by moving a decimal place over to the left. Okay, right, so now I'm going to have minus 0 0.1525 times 10 to the 8th. Now I just need to um, subtract these numbers. So I'm going to have 12.63 minus 0 0.1525 and then that's going to be times 10 to the 8th. All right. So 12.63 minus 0 0.1525 should come out to be 12.4 775, 775 times 10 to the 8th power. Well, I got that issue with the decimal place again. I got to move it over one spot. So I'm going to have 1.24775 times 10 to the... I moved my decimal place over one to the left. I need to increase my exponent by one. So I have 1.24775 times 10 to the ninth. All right, let's try the last one. Problem F. Okay. Um, I need to make sure that I have these in the same form. So 6.3 times 10 to the fifth plus 2.7 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Um, I don't have these uh, numbers to the same place value. I have uh, to the fifth and to the sixth. So I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to make this. I'm going to move that over there. So I'm going to have 0 0.63 times 10 to the sixth power plus 2.7 times 10 to the sixth power. So now my exponents are the same. <clears throat> so if I add these together, 0 0.63 plus 2.7, I should get 3.3, is it 3.33? I think so. Times 10 to the 6th power. So Here's your uh, assignment for class or home, depending on how far you get today. Um, it's page 62, numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Numbers one, two, and three are using multiplication and division uh, with scientific notation. And problems four through seven are addition and subtraction with scientific notation. And remember, show 